Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm playing around with the mission editor a little more and just wanted to show you some of the things I've figured out and done if it might help you guys to uh, make your own missions and not be intimidated by the editor like I was initially because there's uh, so many things to do in here. So anyway, I made a mission, well I started to create a mission, it's not done yet, but I started to create this mission on the default map so basically, I, I plopped my carrier down out here. Let's zoom in. Let me go over some of what I've done so far. So here's my carrier. So first off, I plopped my carrier down. I stuck him out here. I gave him some waypoints. So I named him Carrier Group 1 down the Carl Vinson. This is part of Unit 1. This is important later. Um, under the advanced waypoints, you can edit this. You could change what channel and what call sign comes up when you try to use the TAC hand for it. I just left it at 1. Nothing you can do here. But I gave him a bunch of waypoints. So he's kind of cruising around, doing his thing, going from there to there to there. And... Um, I also set it up to unlimited aircraft, hide the flyable ones, air-to-air -air equipment and fuel is pretty much all unlimited liquids, unlimited munitions, I'm trying to make it fun. Right here is where you set the speed to. I think it was like 22 or 32. I set it to 10 to kind of make it crawl along, which is what I want it to do. I don't really want it to move far. I just want it to be there for me to tear, take off and uh, land on. So that covers the carrier, but what I've done now, so I can utilize the carrier and have fun with it and make it look kind of cool, this is what I've figured out at least. So if I zoom in here, you'll see I got a bunch of stuff going on on the deck here. So basically what I've done is I have a Hornet group. I made him the player. I placed him. I selected take off from runway. I set him up with the air to air that I like to use, the loadout. I give him that skin. And again, take off from runway. Just leave it at that, right? There's only one of them. However, I have this other group of Tomcats that I created as well. So I got Tomcat group one. Um, Unit 1 of 4, I know you can't see my mouse in this, it's very frustrating, I don't know why my pointer doesn't show up in the videos, but keep an eye on the uh, selections that can be made as things highlight, you can kind of see what I'm doing. So, if I go right next to take off from runway, there's a parking area. This is where you can select where they end up at. So, number 1 is on 1. If I go to 2... It moves down to the next yellow one down there. He's on uh, number two is on number four. Number three is on. No, wait, I'm sorry. Number two is on number three. Number three is on four. And then four is on two. That's how you select where they end up at. So when you create a group, they all don't end up on the same place, if that makes any sense to you. Because I did this at first, and I'm like, why are all my guys overlapping? Like, right here. And I don't understand why my Hornet can't be take off from parking hot. Because if I do take off from parking hot, it still ends up on the cat. Instead of over where these other planes are, like this guy here, or this guy here, or this guy here. So, if anybody knows the answer to that, please let me know. But other than that, I've got a four-man group of Hornet, or uh, Tomcats. And I have them selected to client. I have a single F-18, which is selected as the player. And any, since these are all client, anybody can jump in them back and forth. But what I've also done is to add a little flair to my carrier. I've added some static units. So basically you go to the static object, uh, which is the little bridge over here, add or modify static object, and then you can bring up all the different options. I named him static F14B1. And the important part is when you place this guy, 
he has to be part of the unit or he won't show up on your carrier deck. This is what I found out the hard way. If you do none, and the other thing is, is the only way to place him where you want, like watch this, if I unselect offset fixation, it throws him in that spot right there. And I don't know why everything, if you don't select offset fixation, they all end up in that spot. And the only thing you can do is turn this dial over here and change the heading, but that's it. So I guess you have to do this and then kind of place him where you want. And I just move this dial. So I wanted to set him up like he's kind of, you know, going down the deck of the carrier and getting ready to get on the elevator over there. And then these guys, I had to do offset fixation as well to set them kind of where I wanted them. And uh, if you set anything on those elevators, they end up in the water, like the elevator is in the down position. And I haven't figured out if there's a way to change that. So you've got an elevator right above this Hornet right here. You have an elevator right below that one. You've also got an elevator over here behind the drone that I sat down. And then you have one on the other side over here where this guy is. So to set anything on the deck and to kind of give yourself a little bit of, you know, personality, um, you have to do that offset fixation, at least as far as I know. So basically I've done this. I've added these little bits and pieces to my carrier. And now I can take off from this carrier and select any of the one, two, three, four Tomcats or the one Hornet and um, start my mission from there, which I thought was kind of neat. So again, just a quick little video. I wanted to toss that out there since I'm kind of playing with the mission editor today and uh, starting to dig more into these uh, missions and what I can do and uh, how I can make it more fun for friends and I. And again, that's just placing a carrier. That's setting up your uh, flights from the carrier. I still haven't added waypoints to those flights or anything like that yet. I'm going to do that next, but that'll get you started at least, you know, and I think it's pretty cool that you could do that. Um, I can't wait until I can get in here and I want to add little dudes and stuff, but like, I think that's part of that next upgrade package they're supposed to be coming up with that they want to charge us for. Um, so yeah, the only thing I'm bummed about is when you go to choose stuff for the USA, you know, the only thing you've really got is cargo, which, you know, really is nothing. I mean, you're not going to stick any of this on the deck of a carrier. You know, it'll look stupid. Effects, smoke and whatnot. Helicopters, heliports, planes. So helicopters and planes are about the only thing I could find on here that made sense to me. That I can stick on the deck of a carrier and make it kind of cool. Hey, what's this? Air show guys. <laughs> I wonder if I stick these air show guys on the deck of a carrier. Hey, there's something to check out. Well, maybe I did find something. Coach for cargo. Yeah, I never thought of that one. Yeah, maybe the air show guys you could stick on the deck if you wanted to, I guess, but. I, I couldn't find any crew is my point to put on the deck of the carrier. So anyway, I don't want to make this any longer than I have to. I just thought that was interesting and I thought it might be helpful to some of you guys that are starting to create your own missions or want to edit missions. But that is how you place a carrier and that is how you start your flights off of a carrier and how and where you place them on the different spots out of one through four. Uh, again, it would be nice if I could figure out how I can like park them over here and start off hot, but you know, it's not letting me do that. Oh, I just dropped a thing on there. So anyway, thanks for watching and um, please subscribe to the channel if you like what's going on and uh, I'll talk to you guys again soon. Until next time.